Update on the Bison Hydrothermal Explosion on July 23rd. The Biscuit Basin hydrothermal explosion on July 23, 2024, was caused by water suddenly turning to steam in a shallow hydrothermal system beneath Black Diamond Pool and was not caused by volcanic activity. Seismicity, ground deformation, and gas and thermal emissions remained at normal background levels, and no precursors were detected for the event. The explosion, which sent steam and debris hundreds of feet above the ground, shattered nearby pavement and ejected grapefruit-sized boulders tens to hundreds of feet from its source. Some of the blocks closest to the explosion site were about 3 feet 1 meter wide and weighed hundreds of pounds. The explosion was directed mostly northeast toward the Firehole River, with the largest debris blocks falling in that direction. The explosion's dark color is the result of mud and debris mixing with steam and boiling water. Although there were visitors present at the time of the eruption, no injuries were reported. Black Diamond Pool and Black Opal Pool were affected by Tuesday's eruption, and while both remain distinct, the shape of Black Diamond has changed slightly. Both pools are murky with debris, and unstable soil around the edges occasionally slides into the water. Immediately after the eruption, Black Diamond Pool exhibited slight gurgling and gushing. The pool's water level rose throughout the day, and by Tuesday afternoon the gurgling had turned into intermittent jets of hot water that reached about 8 feet meters, high. By Wednesday morning, July 24, the levels of Black Diamond Pool and Black Opal Pool had risen enough for both to overflow and send murky water into the Firehole River. No jets from Black Diamond Pool were witnessed Wednesday morning. Given recent changes to the hydrothermal plumbing system, small eruptions of boiling water from this area of the Biscuit Basin are still possible for days to months to come. USGS and NPS geologists will monitor conditions, map debris fields, and take water samples to assess any changes in the shallow hydrothermal system over the next few days. Hydrothermal eruptions typically occur in the park one to several times per year, but often in inland areas that may not be readily detected. Similar Though smaller, hydrothermal eruptions occurred in 1989 at Porkchop Geyser in the Norris Geyser Basin, and on April 15, 2024, from the Porcelain Terrace area in the Norris Geyser Basin. A small hydrothermal eruption occurred at Wall Pool, in Biscuit Basin, in 2009. A significant hydrothermal eruption possibly similar in size to the July 23, 2024, eruption, occurred in the 1880s at Excelsior Geyser, in the Midway Geyser Basin. Yellowstone National Park has closed Biscuit Basin for the remainder of the 2024 season for visitor safety. The Grand Loop Road remains open to vehicles, and other nearby thermal basins, such as the Black Sand Basin, remain open. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, provides long-term monitoring of volcanic and earthquake activity in the Yellowstone National Park area. Yellowstone is home to the world's largest and most diverse collection of natural thermal features and its first national park. YVO is one of five USGS volcano observatories that monitor volcanoes in the United States for science and public safety. YVO member agencies, USGS, Yellowstone National Park, University of Utah, University of Wyoming, Montana State University, EarthScope, Wyoming State Geological Survey, Montana Bureau of Mines and Geology, Idaho Geological Survey,